So we're here with Major League Baseball star Evan Longoria. Evan, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Now, he's been in the hobby for quite a while. Tell us your origin story, how you started. Um, actually just got into it, well, back into it. I mean, I used to rip packs and, mm -hmm. you know, just n not really collect as a kid. Right. But um, just kind of, you know, see what came out, look for my favorite players sure. as a kid. And now, uh, obviously, I think the, the pandemic kind of like sparked a bunch of, um, hobbies to come back to the forefront sure. of people's lives, you know, sitting at home, just looking for something to do. So my kids and I started ripping Pokemon first. Um, and then, you know, I met JD and the guys uh, from Picks and Pulls. We started, you know, basically opening everything. And I've kind of settled into a, a little bit of a niche now in collecting, um, you know, we're really into to F1. I'm, I'm big sure. into F1 now mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and a lot of basketball too. So now that you're back into the market, you're involved with JD and their company. Sounds like you're having a good time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's just been something that uh, has obviously like kind of taken up my time that would have been you know used maybe I don't know talking about baseball or right. anything like that you know we had we had a lot of downtime so it's been fun to kind of learn a new hobby you mm -hmm. know see how this works like obviously I've seen over my years in baseball like a lot of autograph seekers out you know with their collections of sure. cards trying to get autographs and I never really knew like what that was about and now mm -hmm. it's kind of cool to like see it from the other side and and understand like oh hey I got you know a couple of George Russell rookies here that right. like man if I ever see the guy I maybe I'll have them sign them, you yeah, know, that's, so that's so cool. It's interesting. Yeah, no doubt. And getting back to the autographs. Now, obviously, you've autographed a lot of cards from yeah. the manufacturers. When they give you the cards, how many do they give you at a time to sign? It depends. Um, a lot of the manufacturers will just send out, you know, the sticker, mm -hmm. like a booklet of stickers that you'll sign for them. Um, and then as I've gotten deeper into my career, I sign, I've signed less. And mm -hmm. Um, learning through the hobby now, like the, the value of the on-card autograph sure. is so much more than what a stickered autograph is. And so usually you'll only get like, I mean, depending on who it is, younger players, I think sign a lot more autographs. Sure. Um, the last batch that I did was probably five, four or five years ago. And it was only probably like a hundred cards, you wow. know, like a 250, a 25, and then some like, right. you know, individual, like lower numbered stuff. So but obviously uh, your cards are much scarcer these days with an autograph on them. Well, with an on-card for sure. Sure, yeah. yeah, with an on card for sure. And now, obviously, you're on a team and you know a bunch of guys now is that something that's talked about in the clubhouse are there other guys getting into it we definitely were into it this season um, we we opened a ton of stuff uh, in the locker room wow. uh, you know just just talking about like different products and I mean I think uh, you know some of us enjoy it for like the gambling aspect of it sure. you know because it's essentially like that you find a box to rip like you're hoping for something big to come out right and there's a the certain aspect of gambling there that I think entices a lot of people Sure. Um, but you know other people are obviously in it to collect sets mm -hmm. and and look for you know specific players that may, maybe everybody doesn't collect sure. um, and so there's I think everybody that's what makes this interesting is everybody's kind of in it for a different reason sure yeah that's the beauty and the business that we've built here tries to cater to everybody now I think a lot of people recruit yourself there. Do you collect your own cards at all? I've, I've just started. I mean, like I said, I wasn't collecting hardly anything before probably two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and since I've gotten into like ripping packs and, and understanding the hobby a little bit more, I've mm -hmm. tried to start collecting, especially some of my early year stuff, mm -hmm. um, the rookie cards, the first Bowmans, um, and, and I've got a pretty decent collection now. And it's been, it's been cool to do because, you know, for me personally, I don't um, necessarily care about owning them myself, but right. I hope that my kids one day sure. will be like, oh, look, my dad played baseball and here's his rookie card, sure. you know, and here's like a, you know, a signed, you know, PSA 10 copy of one. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know that the populations are that high on all of those things either. Right. So, you know, just having them and, and being able to save them for my kids will be special. Yeah, and just kind of knowing the moments that the picture was taken. Yeah. It has to be kind of cool if you're looking back at your older cards. Obviously, you were much younger back then. Yeah. And some of the poses were different. Some of the action shots are cool. Yeah, it's different. It's definitely different. Yeah, and just now with the industry and, you know, reliant on game use jerseys and stuff, now through Major League Baseball, they're the ones giving it out or is the team or you personally donating but a lot of people are curious how that even works I think the way that I understand it right now is well I personally have a memorabilia guy that handles all of my stuff mm -hmm. so he pays 
well, he plays the team for the jerseys. Okay. So essentially, I own my own jersey. Right. And then he buys them from me and okay. uses them for his own personal. He doesn't make cards or anything, you right. know, but that will be like something that he sells again, you know, in the resale market. Mm -hmm. um, but I think teams uh, like Tops or Panini or, you know, any of the big manufacturers will buy from the team directly. Got so, it. you know, the team will sell them X amount of jerseys. Sure. Um, and some of them just come right off the rack. And then some of them also come from players' backs, you know, and those are the ones that they would call a game used jersey. So, um, and some of them may just be a jersey that the guy sat on the bench, you know, right, that day. Right. So you never really know. But like, I think I'm pretty sure that every time they say game used, it's definitely been on the guy's back yeah. in some capacity. And they, there's authenticators everywhere now, sure. you know. So anytime something happens in the game, you know, they have the sticker, the MLB authentication sticker that you can note the game that it came from and, and all of that so it's it's definitely come a long way from when I first got into the league when oh, sure. you know, they didn't have any of that um, and now you know there's a guy that sits in the dugout and anything that happens you know he's stickering with, right. with the yeah the values today it has to be that way and yeah. with the internet and these different sleuths out there <laughs> we need to make sure that things are you know great one last question for you though obviously you travel the country and is it something that you do when you stop in certain cities is it something that you want to go to a card show or you want to go to a card shop and yeah you know is that something that you do in your spare time at all um i do yeah i've been seeking them out um but i mean obviously we're pretty you're pretty spoiled here you know this, <laughs> this place is uh is is incredible so if you've ever been in here and then you go somewhere else it's kind of like oh well you know it's not that cool you know but um it, it is fun to see you know what what card shops have mm -hmm. um, obviously everybody has different products I mean the selection is different everywhere um, so just obviously if you come to Burbank and you go to the rest of the country don't expect to see oh, uh, what you see here uh, words, but it, it, it is fun to uh, to kind of see you know it's, especially when you go to places in, in certain states that you know they, they only will have like products of those players right. too you know mm -hmm. so you can find some things that are are really interesting and specific to that area sure. um, which is, is fun to kind to seek out well that's very cool thank you so much for taking the time yeah. evan Got i'm it, sure a lot of people will enjoy the content so I hope have so. a good one man we'll see you back in the store okay. soon thank you got it